Hi guys, Daniel John here and welcome back to another one of our product review videos and in this video we're going to be looking at the Super Kitchen and it's the premium non-stick silicon pastry mat, table pastry mat and the reason for this video is we're just going to show you the difference between a cheap version and a more expensive version, the difference between quality between the, yeah. between the two basically. So what's the purpose of a silicon mat? It's to stop things sticking, you'd fall down it, I've done it on a worktop where you get your dough and your flour and it all sticks, this stops it sticking, you just take it away and wash it. The important thing to note about this super kitchen one is 100% food grade silicon. There are some different cheaper types of silicon which are not food grade, can be toxic. It's got some features there, it just gives you an idea of what you can use it for, baking, pizza, bread, kneading, etc. It's got a few bits on the back, um, how to maintain it, etc. Yeah. So yeah, if you are thinking about buying this, then um, so this is this is a, this is a premium one. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, bought from Amazon. We'll put a link on Amazon. I can't quite remember how much it cost. But as soon as you take it out of the box, it's fighting me a bit. It's quite heavy. So the first thing you notice is the weight difference between this and a, a cheaper one. So you get a little thank you thing, which is quite nice. Um, you get a little instruction leaflet, any problem sort of thing, which always says a good thing about a product. So we'll put that aside. So immediately I can see that it's a quality item. Um, yeah, it's, it's heavy. Quite thick, uh, it's embossed with their logo, Super Kitchen. I know they've got a registered trademark on this as well, so it says they're a serious company as well. So, this is what you do in use if people haven't come across these before. You just lie it down. Um, good thing about this, you can't use knives on it, you mustn't use knives on it. Basically, what you do, you put your flour or your pastry, and you do that with it, and uh, you'd have a scraper with it when you're ready to go one of them and you literally just scrape your stuff off and wipe it off and it saves all the mess on your um, work top or chopping board it's so easy dip it in soapy water wash it right so what does a cheaper one look like that? before before you just show that i was going to say it's important to note that you've already said about you not using knives but it's also important to use proper the proper implements on this because otherwise so, you'll so don't, damage yeah, it. that's a fair comment. No, no metal objects. You can get these in metal. Do not use metal. Use uh, plastic. The, these are pennies off Amazon. And this is for scraping there, and that goes in a bowl to scrape out, etc. So plastic implements on your silicon mat. Uh, this is what a cheaper one looks like. You can see the difference. This is just a silicon mat, basically. It's not going to last that long, and it's going to stain. What's uh, the thickness like of this one? Oh, uh, well... The quality one, them. yeah. See, the quality is it's twice as you can see, twice, the, three the times super thick. kitchen mat is, is two or three times thicker than the cheap silicon, so it would last you longer. Um, from memory, they do come in different colors if you want, you know, a splash of color in your kitchen. You could leave them down permanently, it's up to you, or when you put them away and you wash them in warm soapy water, just make sure they're completely dry before you put them away, yeah. Anyway. If this has helped you keep your uh, work top or chopping board sticky free from dough or pizzas, uh, if you could help us along a bit and subscribe, we really would appreciate that as it helps us a little bit. Thanks for watching.